If you're wanting to edit the Avada theme button styling on your WordPress website that's using the Avada theme, it's really quite simple. There's a whole section in the back end, which I'll show you here in a second, that will allow you to adjust the settings of your buttons globally so you can have all the buttons changed with just changing a few settings. And uh, in order for that to work, though, you need to... I'm just going to edit this page so we can look at it from the back end here. Uh, the buttons need to be set as under... So if you go to the back end of the site, you find one of the buttons, click Edit, go to Design. It needs to be set to Default, which basically means it's going to pull in the styling from the default settings, which are just the global settings for all the buttons across the website. So if you have that set up on one of the buttons, or on all of the buttons across your website, at least if it's built on Avada, then there's one simple way to just change them all at once. If they're set to custom, then you'll actually need to change the styling right here. And so you can see you have the button gradient top color. So you can choose a gradient, basically meaning, like I'll show you if we make this yellow, preview this then the top of the button is going to be yellow and then it's going to fade to green. So kind of a cool look if that's what you're going for. Uh, so that's the button gradient top and then you have bottom and then you have the color on hover so we could technically set this to be like say we want it to be red when somebody hovers over it and then you have the button text and the button text on hover. So I'll show you what that looks like here real quick. So then when we hover over this button, it's going to turn red. And the text is going to turn white. So that's the button colors, which are a big part of it. But there's also, you know, you can have like a 3D button. Uh, you can have a border on the button. So sometimes you'll have a transparent button and all you can see is like a black border. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool effect. And then you can also change the border radius. So if you do five, then it's going to bevel the edges of the button so it's not so pointed right here. So you can see it rounded those corners. And then if you go to, I believe it's, it probably depends on the button size, but if you go to 25, then it's going to look rounded. So the edge of the button will actually look more like a pill shape. So you can see it completely rounds out the button here. So these same settings that we're working on here, you can also change the size. So you can go to extra large, small, large, uh, button span. So if you want it to be, so we'll set it to extra large and button span. And then <laughs> choose a random icon. <laughs> <laughs> so now the button span means it takes up this whole section and because it's large you can see it's not quite curving all the way around here so we would actually need to change this to something more like 45 and then we should get it to be a complete circle on the edge here yeah that looks correct so those are the basics, and those same options are available globally if you go to the back end of your website and hover over Avada and click on Options, or from the front end, you can just go to Avada Global Options. And when you click on that, it'll bring you to this Global Options page. And if you scroll down on the bottom here to Avada Builder Elements, this is going to allow you to change the global settings of all the elements that are used to build pages and posts and everything. So if we expand the button element here, we'll see those same settings. We can change it from small to large to extra large. We can choose button span. We can have it be flat or 3D. You can even change the typography, so the font. Uh, so if we wanted to change this to Arial, we could. We have backup fonts here. Whether we want the text to be bold or normal or even italics. Letter spacing uppercase or normal. So I like to use uppercase just because it looks, it makes it pop a little bit more. 
And then here's the colors I was showing you. So the button gradient, top color, bottom, uh, the color of the button on hover, the text, and then the text on hover, and then you know the border radius, which we were playing around with, and the border size, which I explained. So, and then you even have the uh, border on hover and uh, regular. So from here, you can edit just the way we were editing this button from the back end here you can change these settings and it's going to change all the buttons across your entire website so I hope you found that helpful if there's anything you have questions about feel free to drop your comments down in the or your questions down in the comments section below I'll be sure to get back to them there and until next time take care